as they as your job as an inspector of elections, who in the day of the voting is your boss? Who looks over your work, both of you? I want to make sure that my vote is counted and fairly, and everybody else who comes here, the vote is fairly, is fairly counted. Who's your boss? Um, Tom Fleury, the ward clerk, is the primary supervisor of the polling place and, and works in uh, collaboration with the three inspectors of election in each ward. Uh, well, as an elected official, you are my boss. Um, and the way that polling places work is that there are four different roles. You have the ward clerk, you have the inspector of election, you have the election officials, and then uh, you have the city. And it's important that each of these um, individuals or group of individuals have different roles and responsibilities. And so, I'm sorry, the, the city, um, the, the fourth, is delegated to the board of the, for the registration of voters. Um, so each of these four groups and, or, and or individuals um, each has their own job that they are responsible for. And it's important that things happen in agreement with each other. The only supervisory role that takes place at a polling place is the ward clerk supervises the assistant election officials. Um, otherwise, things are supposed to happen in concert. There are chain of custody protocols and for example, um, if a voter asks for help filling out a ballot to inspectors of election um, of opposing party affiliations. Um, you know, it's been a few years since I've worked at a polling place, so some of the minutia of what I just discussed might not be exact, but yes, as an elected official, you are our boss. All right, well, thank you very much.